My name is Megan Gamble. I'm the HOSA advisor at West Forks High School. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse since 2002. I started teaching in 2014. My name is Bailey Lankford. I am a health science teacher here at West Folks High School. Before I was a health science teacher, I have been a registered nurse for about 20 years, and 17 of those were in emergency medicine, emergency nursing. How does a student join HOSA? They have to be a health science student. Once enrolled in a health science class, they just come to the HOSA meeting. There is a $20 affiliation fee that goes to 10 of that goes to North Carolina and $10 goes to National HOSA. It's a nonprofit organization, so they have to have the money. What is HOSA? HOSA is a academic club for future health professionals. And so what that means is if you're thinking about a career in any kind of healthcare setting, it's an academic club that will help you learn and advance your knowledge and put you at like an advantage for some different opportunities that not everyone has a chance to get. Why did you decide to join HOSA? I decided to join HOSA after a couple of my friends who was older than me and was already in high school joined and they was talking about all the fun activities that they got to do. And also with me wanting to go into healthcare, it's a good fundamental base with me getting to see like all the competitive events that relate to healthcare and just getting to experience and make new friendships along the way. I joined HOSA because I saw the great opportunities that it brings to the table and wanted to be able to express my love for the healthcare field more. Um, I joined HOSA because I had one of Ms. Langford's classes and I'm hoping to have a future in healthcare. What takes place during the meetings? During the meetings, you just kind of talk about your upcoming plan of work for different community service projects. You talk about your events and just the life of a HOSA member. We talk about what um, to do list and we give a certain date for what to get done in order to compete. And then we'll talk about what we want to do throughout the year as in volunteer work. What kind of volunteer work is available with HOSA? You can volunteer and help with the blood drives. We volunteer at nursing homes, food drives. We do a lot of um, like marches and walks for different stuff like Alzheimer's. We do anything we can to like raise money. How do you prepare for competitions? I prepare for competitions by studying a lot. I study my events, I study my guidelines, my skills. I learn my skills and I practice them pretty much every day. How I prepare for competitions is I study, do research, and overall just like practice my event. My event is doing a speech, so talking to people about what it is and stuff. For my competition, I. Um, Come and meet just about every day during Smart Lunch and work with my partner. Do you like being one of the competitive members of HOSA? Yes. I do like being a competitive member. Yes. I really enjoy being a competitive member for HOSA. I do. I do like being one of the competitive members. Yes. What kind of competitions does HOSA take part in? Um, we have, I think, 56 competitive events, and the students can choose from whichever ones pique their interest of their future in health. Out of the 56 competitive events, which one is your favorite? HOSA Bowl. And why did you decide to start HOSA at West Fork High School? Um, when I came here, it was already started. Ms. Campbell had kind of already built our HOSA group to what it needed to be. And so um, I was able to kind of follow on her coattails and help her grow. The first time we went to a HOSA event, we went just to see what it was all about because the state pushes CTE teachers to get involved in the CTSOs. Um, the kids had a really good time. The kids seemed to be engaged. They were learning about healthcare, which is something that they enjoyed. There were a lot of other kids there. It seemed to be a good networking opportunity for them. So I think that's the reason that we ultimately decided to bring it back to our school and get it going here.